So you're gonna touch your monkey and then you're gonna wait to see the perfect moment. You're gonna throw your ultimate mostly in corner or sometimes to zone will be enough, no need to do kills and yeah, your team just need to push with the bomb and the magic happens. But do they know where he's coming from? He's got a gesture, he's been boosted, he's just cleaving the boost. The bubble goes though, so he will get caught eventually by no. And now Prophet, he's found his target, misses the second slash! Big opportunity now for Boston Uprising to push this point forward. Some ball, ball missed up from London this time wrong. No time in committing with the pulse bomb as well. Chucks it out there. Funko is gone though, this is a big issue. A lot of healing is done. Now for Valiant, and this is Def Mickey! Going to work! Team sticking together, the wings are off of Verbo. He's chain healing and trying to keep his teammates alive. And soon, yet again, will die. And there you go! He gets the pulse bomb onto AKM. But Mickey with the monster self-destruct. The back line is dead for Valiant. He's got the nano boost on him, and he's gonna dive right in on the Bijou. There's a kill for him. Gets hydration as well, so they managed to turn it around. And he's got that self-destruct. If he needs to force him off the point, open it up here for his team, but it's a wall of blue in the kill feed. Ark not gonna be floating around long this time. It will be Janus just launching himself bodily back onto the point, hoping to just whittle a little bit more time off the clock. No stick for profit means that Chips lives to see another day. Siegel under heavy pressure now though, getting DMX already. There's the tag visor from Birdring. Siegel with the double though, Birdring and Profit out in the open, just getting caught. Back at him, and I came and already fallen to logic. This is a nightmare start for the fuel. Yeah, with all the pressure coming around that backside from Swoosh is able to sign to be and Manitin. Logic is able to sneak up behind AKM and 4D chest from Clockworks Tracer. He died to skip them, but false sense of security came back at an angle, able to take down support. Still holding this pulse bomb and wait for Transcend to wear off. Yeah, waiting for it. There's the there we go. Stick. Perfect. Gonna go for the D-Mac here. That's gonna happen. And so they are being very methodical with this approach here. Houston Outlaws in front of him. Well, that's, that's the first time he actually saw this uh, this strat. All Raucous, he thought about that one. Body Grenade, look at all the resources being dedicated to keeping Jake alive. And it's working! Oh, it's working! Cool Matt's found Fraggy there. So much damage being done because the focus of the fusion is solely on Jake. He finds the kill, but can Shark translate that into a hold? Not gonna be easy now with Cool Matt running people over like that. There goes Sleepy. And that should be point B. Dragon Blade from Hydration. Remember, Soul just needs that one tick. And a boost in Bishu is going to be pushing Toby off. So uh, Gladiators are going to hold this. Creating some space here for his teammates to get out. They're a perfect sound barrier thrown into the mix by Boink hitting everybody as well. But that's Bishu! Take, you take a look in the eyes of Envy here. As I imagine a lot of these players get stuck in the top. Yep. Black. Rockets. Get the res onto Kareem though from Unko and PQO, the one who tries to deal with that. Oh, 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 how in the world did he get three anymore? Now soon down, so now Kareem needs to hit the shots. Envy helping him do just that as Shaz and Fizzard do go down. Envy with three at the end of that fight. Don't try and play the choke. You've got a lot of AoE damage with your DPSs here. So try and push them back and then get value out of them. But that's a huge earth shadow there. Transcendence being quickly employed to try and protect them. But again, two burst damage abilities came out. Fury self-destruct, gestures charge as well. It didn't matter if there was a trans in play. That got completely nullified. Batted around. I mean, despite how decent it's gone for them, they have to finish fights. Oh, there that it fight is. is now finished for them. They will not be able to swing control back. back for Fury, trying to stay alive versus Carpe. He does get back in the mech. And now Phil yeah, Delta in a lot of trouble. 0.67 meters to go. Fury with the double. And the Dragon Blade from EQO can't cut through the transcendence. It doesn't work that way. Doesn't need the dead eye. Dead eye just slowing him down. Oh, the style. But Ocean gets knocked down. London's able to fight on through it. Booyal gets trapped up top. Going to get up. Oh, that was eaten. Yep, that was easy. Yep, nothing comes out of that. Nice work there. Well, y'all gets rid of that Graviton Surge. This sound barrier coming out from Live King, negating Jonak and his lighthouse of his own. The Coalescence. Oh, Mecco! Monster self destruct Flailing arms, another weaponry. But he's been able to combine with Envy to find Jonak here, who's slightly out of position. Envy's had to give up his mech to do so, and somehow Fate gets caught in the crossfire. Mecco just shredding the LA Valiant. They do have a sound barrier, and they're going to get Ooh. a coalescence here. It'll be an Earth Shatter. It takes out Janice, but it's going to be Mono coming in, saving him with that sound barrier. He's going to try to push in on this. Oh, Arik has really been turning up those quick. MG with the D-Mac, and that's all he was waiting for. Liberal looking for the follow-up. Oh, 
attempted hero play there from him, but the self-destruct from Mecco going to lay them all low to go in. That's right, Poco into the cafe. And Juno and EQO down early though. They get five king, they get free field, so both parts eliminated. Four Shanghai Dragons, it's been a brawl, but it looks like Poco and the DPS of Philadelphia might be able to push this one into a Broadhawk, into a Poira, into a Lucio. Are we gonna make it up? Hit you up for long range. Rascal can't even get to the back line! I don't know how many sheep need to jump fences, but he definitely didn't get over that one. Yeah, Coalescence does a ton of damage to him as he's coming on in. Just finish off rather quickly, so... Uh, that fight falls apart there. Damage. Healing being done in the previous fight. Now the Dragon Blade coming out for Rinkyo. Surely can one up to Vic, and he has done so. Zemsai being removed. Sulfay is low. Frank, he just gets the job done by landing on him. Resurrects to come in just in case. EQ always brought back. Frankie can have an ability to select their target. They don't have to kill tanks first necessarily. Using the high ground, I mean, it's anything. The same in Star Wars as it is on this map, mate. High, high ground is very important. And that's over with three, okay! The last second, he's still hanging out here. He's got himself struck right up into the open. The shield is down. He gets broken as well. And there you go. It couldn't have been better. The way for once again to go in for an attack. Everybody got one team by one fight. And Kadosa from the high ground. It's a shutdown. But Zuma responds. And two men self destruct. Soul getting very close to taking the point. Nuss will use his Valkyrie. That's a correct response to Jehan using Coalescence. They get up to the high ground. Prophet, hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? So, Prophet, come on. Oh man, Zumba's just doing so much work right now. Prophet was like he wasn't even aware that the Diva would still be there. Oh, how about another one? How about Pedosin? Zumba is just the man right now. Baby Baby scrutinized at least for the moment there. That was Roshan on him. Backing away again, just trying to stay safe. Using that mobility as much as possible. And letting his tanks do most of the dirty work. Nemix shoot from him. Four kills in the fight for the Diva player. You love to see it. Somebody find Gapsu. Hang it on. A small amount of life. Nemix eventually finds him and does his dragon blade about to very little. Nemix hits the double. Now the 1v1! That's right, Libero, waiting for that. Tenyomi again! Oh, no. No. That is a huge self-destruct! That's he queued up prior. It's a one for one regardless. Elton can walk back into the frame. But Roshan's missing here. Graviton turns. Nevix was playing off to the side and couldn't eat it up. And that self oh. gonna hurt! It's a 3k for MG! Back in. Graviton up. Graviton gonna stick them into the side. That's right, there's a double from Shusha. The bigger bang comes through for Shanghai. They needed a big team fight win it. They got it. All lessons from Boombox couldn't heal the members up. As Philadelphia Fusion got too close to a wall. There's a nice hook on to Zephyr. Soul falling all around this payload. They've got to stop for the moment, but not anymore. Yuki and Toby, Becky, not a lot of help to speak of. That payload nearly there. Soul doing a good job of delaying, but they can't delay it enough. Who would prevent it? But we don't make it from having any control of the outcome of the fight. We all drop here, but Soul's. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share as it really helps out the channel quite a lot. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with all of our content, and hit that bell to stay notified. This has been Darren from Action Esports, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.